Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another plan with me in my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral using the Scribble Prints Co Kit Grinchmas, which was an exclusive that I drew for her shop. And it is so pretty and I thought it'd be perfect. I know everyone used it for Kirsten's birthday week, but I thought it'd be perfect for this week because I had like a full week of videos for Planmas going up. And so I'm like, oh, we're planning, that'd be perfect. And I wanted to break up some of my kits as well because I used a lot of my own art. <laughs> Oop. Uh, yeah, so, and I'm going to be using some sparkly and also normal hollow, as well as some of the mixed sparkly and normal hollow that came with the November mystery and it's also in the shop, some leftovers. Um, so, yeah, I thought that turned out so cute, really, really fun, and I used a lot of festive. Um, overlays and things um, and I also used hollow bougie boxes so I went all out for the week before Christmas but I'm just gonna play some music over the base and pre-planning and I'll be back to talk about the days that I did plan as we go all right see you in a minute
And now we are ready to plan. So on Monday, my Klaus Olsen package did come in and that was my Christmas tree and some Christmas lights. So I put the tree up and well, it's just a little like tree in a pot with pre-lit lights. So super easy. <laughs> but um, we decided to decorate and put the tree up. I don't know what I'm doing here. I oh, yes, also cleaned that day, <laughs> cleaning day. And I'm just using random um, Christmas icons and I just use all those freebie munchkins from SPCN. Once more with love to mark the videos all week because it was a cute pixie hollow. Everything is just so festive and fun in this spread. So now I'm just messing with it because it um, didn't really fit. I haven't edited much of this part of the footage, I guess. I think I, I'm changing because you couldn't really read the um, the script sticker from Scribble Prince Co. Which uh, spoilers I got from the advent calendar because <laughs> there were hollow um, script stickers in it. But I don't think that's much of a spoiler. Um, if you've been opening it, then it's already past that day. And then I use this Hello Pretty Paper sticker, put up the tree, and I use the hilarious munchkin covered in lights uh, to go, and I use Decorate for Christmas, because that's pretty much what I decorated with. Just lights and things. And then on, then on Tuesday, my Ikea um, package came in was delivered and I got a new desk and some cabinets for the bedroom so then I built all of it um what else did I post? what happened that day? I can't remember anything that happened any of these days honestly I'm covering it up I'm putting in a TV and what did we watch? <laughs> Uh, we watched uh, a few streams this week, so um, uh, RT Games and Spiff on the Jingle Jam Yogs car stream were playing Wii Sports and it was pretty funny, <laughs> um, you know, golf and things, like original Wii Sports. And then we had Chinese takeout for the first time from a place called Royal Garden and it was really good. It's probably the closest to the same kind of Chinese you get in Australia. That I've been able to find because it's pretty different here versus in Australia. But obviously, um, there's a lot more. Uh, well, obviously, Australia is a lot closer to Asia and a lot more um, immigrant uh, populations and things. So, but yeah, it was it was good to find a more higher quality Chinese place, a more legit place, really. So I'm just putting in a whole bunch of little things. Yeah, this week we had like my kid collection, um, this sort of idea of kits that you need in your collection if you're just beginning or, you know, just for kids to have on hand. I don't have to watch it. It was hard to explain what I meant. I really should have edited this part. <laughs> uh, I've been pretty bad with my video this week. I've been filming, but um, the editing's a bit troublesome at the moment. But anyway, then we tidied up because we had a bunch of boxes and things to get rid of. And just using Grinch stickers from Munchkins from Once More With Love. Grinch Munchkins from Once More With Love to mark that. Also you find that dinner is a bit emptier on the sidebar because it took me a while to remember what I had on Monday and Wednesday. 
my memory is just completely gone at the moment. Then I put a sparkly hollow heart on that day for what reason? Ah, I had a good shower. <laughs> I had a good scrub. So I decided to cut up a day extender. You can actually just get full box day extenders. But I've, I just bought the normal two box ones. So I just cut it in half so then I could also just fold that in half and make it into a half box day extender. Because I wanted to put some stuff underneath um, and not really share it. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing there. And then I was just super duper tired. That's maybe why I don't have a bad memory this week. I've just been so tired and trying to sleep early but not really sleeping much. So yeah. Be stuff I had on Wednesday that I wanted to keep private. So I fill it out like after everything is done. Um, but I'm going to put in Wednesday. So it's like I'll put in some more coffee. I had a gingerbread latte this day. Which is basically I have gingerbread syrup for coffee. And I put some in, in my coffee this morning. <laughs> And just making sure I add little bits of um, sparkly holly deco. It's been really fun to put that in all of my icons so it's like all sparkly throughout on top of already having the bougie boxes. So I, I didn't want to write on the coil. So um, ah, I played a lot with Heidi this day with the um, laser mouse. <laughs> so <laughs> playing with the laser she loves as soon as you pick up the laser like the plastic she recognizes it and then we're going to see um, Rise of Skywalker on Thursday so we decided to watch The Last Jedi on Wednesday we keep our opinions to ourselves because they get a bit toxic with Star Wars but I love The Last Jedi and I wasn't very optimistic about Rise of Skywalker to begin with because I already knew that from the backlash of Last Jedi, it wasn't going. They were going to undo all of it. So, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. So then I just used the sparkly coffee cup to mark doing the dishes and more of that, um, those scripts. And then I got a package from H and M, which is actually a Star Wars shirt. It's a really cool. I uh, like pulpy, old, like old painting one of the original trio with like Luca Lair and stuff. It's really cool. I did not wear it to the cinema the next day. <laughs> I just needed sleep. So I already marked a pre-planning that Star Wars happened. So it was my first time going to the cinema in Finland. It was pretty good. I was surprised like everything's sort of pre-done in all the snacks were kind of like already in fridges or whatever so you can just pick out whatever you wanted we don't ever have we don't really have snacks when we go to the cinema we just go and watch the movie <laughs> but they had like popcorn buckets so like popcorn but then they had the same buckets but filled with pork rinds which was interesting <laughs> and then we went to like we were in the Lux cinema so we had uh, like full photo programs of Star Wars and then um, a Lynch chocolate bowl which was delicious so I was and that was all reclining and stuff really fancy it was a nice um, cinema so just marking um, my reactions to this new Star Wars film was I guess with a sort of meh happy face I'm not gonna get into it don't want to do any spoilers but I don't know like it was fun but not enjoyable and then sort of as you continue throughout the days and weeks I'm just sort of pulling apart all the threads of the stuff that just didn't make sense to me and I didn't agree with but it kind of it's really sucky because I'm the kind of person who just who likes to enjoy things uh, other than Marvel <laughs> um, and I guess you know I guess Pixar I don't really care about. I've watched all of the films and they're, fu they're fine enough but yeah otherwise but otherwise Star Wars I usually enjoy and I know this one I'm like oh because I like the prequels so 
Ah, uh, well, then after the cinema, we went to the pharmacy and the grocery store. So I did a grocery run with like the little pill munchkin, and then we watched Triple Jump Stream playing Heavy Rain. And I like to use the dab stickers for them because it's silly. <laughs> and sometimes they dab for, as a joke. And then I used the Erin Condrian um, deco from the kit to mark filming. I thought, and with the flag, I thought that looked really cute. And then on Friday, it was supposed to be an all day study day. Didn't quite work out because The Witcher came out that morning and I thought it would come out that night. Um, but yeah, let's move on to Star Wars because we could talk about The Witcher instead because we watched the entire season on Friday. All eight episodes. Oh, it was so good. I have watched Locke play all of The Witcher 3. Which I did enjoy. So yeah, it was so good. Henry Cavill was amazing in it. All the actresses and actors. and uh, It was all, I just loved it all. There was a bit of um, nudity that I could have done without, honestly. I don't know why, you know, boobs everywhere. <laughs> Which I'm not always a fan of, but um, it was mostly written and directed by women. So And the showrunner is a woman, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so much better than Game of Thrones. Because I know people are using that as the way to describe it so much better, <laughs> honestly. Um, loved it. And there is, I will say there's like three timelines going on at once. But you kind of, if you pay attention, hear the words, characters, pick up character names, you definitely get a sense that there are different timelines. And it's actually really cool how it all comes together. Well, I, I enjoyed it. I know some people are finding it confusing, but I don't think it has to hold it doesn't have to have the time like um people want dates and stuff but I think it's fine the way it is all you really need to know about the witcher is that they're all really long living magical people <laughs> and they don't really age so the time so that makes the timeline changes really interesting um, and then I got all my stuff in my bank accounts so I just set up my accounts and stuff otherwise I just watch the witcher all day and I kind of re want to rewatch it eventually, but it was really, really good. I'm very happy. And there is a season two coming next year, or possibly the year after. <sighs> but yeah, I loved it. I'm also a fan of fantasy. Saturday, I barely remember what I did, but I was mad at myself. So, <laughs> for not doing anything. I did some organizing. I don't know, I just kind of just plopping stuff in to fill in this day because I can't remember what I did. <laughs> I don't know about this memory keeping kind of plan with me guys. It's a lot easier to plan off camera honestly but I don't know. I'm still going. Then a Sunday I just drew all day to so put in design. Finished up a custom. Um, and I watched two movies during that, so I watched um, Love Actually as a Christmas film, so I was able to use the scripts from um, School Prince Court, and then we watched The Phantom Menace to sort of rinse our brain, I, I, I don't know, it just felt like watching old Star Wars. So I watched The Phantom Menace, I just used a little Grinch stick for that because I thought that was funny. I like The Phantom Menace, I mean Jewel of the Fates, you can't beat that. That is the end of this spread. If you liked it, don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Um, obviously, this week is Christmas, so if you celebrate it, I want to wish you a very happy Christmas. Um, I hope you keep safe and sound and have enjoy good times, whether it's with family or friends or just by yourself. If you don't celebrate, I hope you have a wonderful week anyway. Uh, enjoy all the food and hopefully time off but otherwise um, yeah Plymouth continues this week all the way through the week the entire week so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy my videos I'll see you tomorrow bye